What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got some massive news to go over concerning the Skyrim release date and the supposed CT we were supposed to get. I also have some good news on new hero skins and some more news concerning the supremacy and heroes versus villain game modes and much more. So guys, as I was just going to bed, I was then notified that Ben had just put out some info concerning the CT and the Scarif news and I'm sure you all want to know what's going on. In the thread, Ben does go on to confirm that we'll not be getting a CT and that Scarif will be delayed till mid-April. This is very devastating news but he then goes on to say that the DICE team are all working from home now and it's significantly reduced the speed in which they can test new content and etc etc. This is extremely disappointing from my view, the game has been very 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 stale and I've noticed the numbers have just dipped recently, this is very disappointing news. Now as much as this is very disappointing, it's still key to remember the health of these DICE employees come first before a game update. Again, it's a shame to see that this will be delayed but there is nothing they can do in these unprecedented times and it will get out in mid-April. It's only a couple of weeks away, so it's kind of sad that we're not getting it now, but it's not the end of the world. Also on that topic, for anyone wondering, the CT will be moved closer to the release of Scarif in mid-April, so we could expect that from anywhere from the 7th to the 15th, I think. Some good news with that, Ben did say that there will be some surprises we don't know about in the CT, so that's nice to know that we will get some extra surprises for our troubles. Now, onto some more positive news, Ben also confirmed that we will be getting some more hero and villain skins for the game and he also jokingly said that it wasn't any Han Solo skins and then replied with a Darth Maul gif what fun. This basically shows us that we could expect to see at least one Darth Maul skin as he has been tweeting and responding to lots of things over on Twitter with Darth Maul gifs and images and hopefully some more villain skins in general. As for the update itself, we do know we will be getting original trilogy supremacy, which will inc include obviously Scarif and other maps alike from the era. We also know we will be getting more maps for heroes versus villains from existing maps in the game. So these are like the maps that may be in the other game modes, but not in heroes versus villains playlist. A good example of this is Scarif itself or another map like Crate. We also do know that the original trilogy will be coming to instant action. I'm not sure though if this includes Scarif, uh, so we shall see about that. Uh, they are however being leaked in the files that DICE are working on an offline co-op experience for all maps from every era. This again would add to the sandbox and the offline content, so more content than nothing is definitely welcomed. So guys, let me know your thoughts on potential skins and also what you think about both Scarif and CT being delayed. It's truly a shame that this pandemic has basically robbed us of content for a while. If you did, however, make it to the end of this video, Comment Mando and I'll heart your comment and also if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and sharing the video to let everyone know about the news and if anyone would like to support the channel and buy some cool merch links will be provided in the description. But that's going to do it from me guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.